Hello guys, Crispy here and welcome back to another video. This one my friends, I'm gonna be testing the GeForce GTX 750 Ti 2GB version in Forza Horizon 5, the most well-optimized title this year, I guess. To be honest, I always find myself coming back to this game after testing like Battlefield and Halo and stuff like that because I just want to test optimized titles, you know? As usual, I'm running it with a Ryzen 9 5900X and 32GB of RAM, but you'll get the same FPS if you pair this card with like a Ryzen 5 1400, even a Ryzen 3 1200 overclocked should max out a 750 Ti in this game. It's that well optimized. And let's get right into it, shall we? Let's go over the settings first. I'm playing at the 1080p resolution. We're also gonna test this one at 900p and 720p. And we're using the low settings preset. I'm not testing very low because it looks really bad. Low settings actually looks pretty decent. And let's start with that. If it performs well, we're gonna bump it up to me. So it's raining today in the Horizon Festival, a little bit of a different weather from the usual. Oh god, oh this slides way too much when it's raining, holy crap. <laughs> anyway, this is a pretty intensive area, but I want to get to a city area, like a big town where the FPS usually drop, especially with these lower end GPUs. So that's what we're gonna do here today. Oh, by the way, it's not raining anymore and it's getting exactly the same FPS. I guess the, the ground is still a little bit wet, but uh, yeah, it's pretty similar. Let's make our way there. Fortunately, we are not really seeing that VRAM warning. A sign right now because uh, I guess two gigabytes is enough for low settings at 1080p. I thought it wasn't actually. Maybe we'll still see that, but uh, this is super playable for sure. Oh my god. Okay, it's fine. It's everything is all right, guys. Ho ho ho! Boy, 320 uh, miles per not miles kilometers per hour. All right, let's go this way. Oh, ooh, what the heck am I doing? Okay, all right. Am I, am I stuck? I guess I'm stuck. Oh, what a big jump. Okay, that was nice. Oh, the car is completely wrecked right now. And I know I can disable the damage in the uh, menu or whatever, but I like to see the damage that I do to the cars. You know, otherwise you'd, you'd think that I'm an extremely good driver because I just cut to the part where I'm in the city and tell you that I, I didn't crash anywhere. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it's not too bad, you know? I was expecting it to, to lower the FPS more here in this area because with the 1030 uh, we did see a huge drop just by seeing a little town in the middle of nowhere with a few buildings here and there. Yeah, it dropped our FPS tremendously there. But uh, with the 1050 Ti, well, uh, now we're seeing it, yeah. Now we're seeing it dropping into the lower 30s. But it's still pretty good, not gonna lie. This is a super playable experience. If you lock the FPS to 30, you can get used to that. 750 Ti can still play 2021 games. Actually, only this game, I guess. <laughs> and Vanguard. Vanguard is also pretty well optimized for some reason. It's weird, yeah, I know. I don't think we should play on medium settings. Maybe at the lower resolutions, but at the 1080p resolution, low is definitely the way to go because it will drop into the lower 30s like this. So let's go ahead and drop down the resolution to 900p, 1600 by 900 and low settings still can we get more fps yes of course we can but <laughs> will it get close to 60 apparently not uh, vram usage is lower by the way 1.8 gigabytes right now so that's much better and much more comfortable i guess we did not see any oh my god any stuttering issues though at 1080p so if you want to play like that uh, you're absolutely 100 percent good to go with a two gigabyte card Oh my god, dude, these guys are just insanely fast. What the heck? All right, so 30. Oh my god, it dropped to like 31 there. I saw it. Damn, is this area intensive. This is good for benchmarking these lower end cards. But yeah, overall, it's still a decent experience here. We're really fast right now. Oh boy. Okay, yeah, that was inevitably gonna happen. But it's all because of that guy, you know, Satan. God damn it. Again, it's super similar to 1080p actually because we're seeing it drop into the lower 30s at times. But that just might indicate a, a VRAM issue here, VRAM speed uh, issue or bandwidth 
you know so yeah that's it outside of towns you're gonna see like 60s i guess that's super impressive and i think that's been it for 900p keeping it short right here so we can test more settings there we go 1280 by 720 using low settings still can we get closer to 60 yeah i mean it's it's pretty much the same thing right Maybe if I looked in that direction, yeah, it's, it goes up by a lot. We we're getting like 60 here, now we're at 77. But looking at the entire city, it is still getting 40s. It's very similar, guys. So that really indicates a VRAM speed bottleneck or something like that. Just like we saw with the GT 1030. But the 1030 was even worse, obviously. That VRAM is way slower than this one although they're both gddr5 all right let's go really fast in this direction now 43 42 41 oh boy that's very intensive still pretty much the same as we saw at 900p isn't it oh boy okay i'm sorry uh yeah so no matter what resolution you play at i think you're gonna drop into the 30s as you can see right here this is actually where it dropped to like 31 or 33 with the the 1080p resolution uh, also somebody told me that tunnels were super intensive and we just went through one it wasn't really that intensive so there's that actually maybe it is intensive at higher settings so we definitely should test that out right now let's stop it there 69 beautiful stuff we should stop that 69 there uh anyway let's uh, bump it up to 1080p once again and do medium settings again i think we will drop from 30 like this oh this is bad okay exactly what i expected the vram warning right there as well so yeah medium settings preset uh, 1080p it's not really that playable right it drops from 30 right here so in the city it will drop even further oh boy what a massive jump i love it every single time here we go it's pretty much the same thing isn't it guys as the horizon festival area drops down into the 20s at times it's not dropping right now actually interesting that actually indicates that vram bottleneck that we were talking about because whenever there are lots of houses and objects in the screen like in the festival area once again uh we see very low fps and then here which supposedly is more intensive than the the festival area slightly just slightly it's not it's not dropping unless we look in that direction which has a few houses and stuff or in this direction right here yeah so we should probably go to the uh, city once again and if it doesn't drop from 30 too often i think uh, this is uh, never mind yeah yeah okay guys so it does drop from 30 very often actually in these areas oh boy oh no okay Mm, 27 there don't like that too much yep so you should avoid medium at 1080p oh wait a second what about the tunnel is it more intensive on medium settings oh my god it is okay what the hell oh boy that's insanely intensive let's go ahead and drop it down to 900p and go through the tunnel again 1600 by 900 medium settings still looks very similar and it still drops very close into the 30s yep very close to 30 i'm not sure why i say very close into the 30s it's still dropping here look at that uh it's bad it's not as bad though but still pretty rough looking at the entire city from here 30 yeah i don't think you should play on medium i think low settings is the way to go at either resolution Ooh, 26 now getting out oh my god 22 for some reason getting out of the tunnel in this direction is super super intensive damn dude if for example it's raining you know you might get like a couple of less fps and then you're gonna be below 30 frames per second so even at 900p i i don't really see myself playing like this you know just because i really want to avoid drops below 30 frames so let's do 720p now and once again medium settings uh, by the way msaa nta listing is enabled at medium settings but it's not really intensive like in other games this is totally fine it only drops your fps by like two 
So uh, I'd use it. It makes the, the visuals a lot better because it smooths out the edges and without that enabled, it just doesn't look like it's playing at native resolution, if you know what I mean. It's, it's weird. It's like GTA 5, actually. So going in this direction once again, 30s. All right, we gained about like two or three frames per second compared to, to, to 900p. It's not too bad. Again, we're seeing pretty much the same thing as the low settings. It doesn't really change much with the resolution drops. And again, it's VRAM related. Thankfully, VRAM is not anywhere near maxed out. So it's at 1.7 gigabytes. And uh, that, that's good, actually, because it's medium settings. I thought it would actually go over the limits like this. And it did at 1080p, but not at 900p or 720p. Uh, is this, does this count as a tunnel? I don't think so, right? Yeah, it doesn't. Oh, but we got one right here. All right. Oh, boy. No, get, get out. Get out, please. All right. So it's not bad at 720p. Interesting. I wonder if it had something to do with uh, the higher resolutions. Yeah, right. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Dr dropping down into the, the lower tw 30s and higher 20s. Maybe it's this area right here. I'm not sure. Doesn't seem to be very intensive. Maybe it was just a tunnel. So I guess that's been it for Forza Horizon 5 on the 750 Ti. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, thankfully, this is a well-optimized title. It still runs on this old legendary GPU and you can actually have fun with it. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Love you all. Bye-bye.